Juan Roberto Montes. You can't say his name and not smile. My friend and colleague was a faithful, gentle, God-fearing, loving soul. He served as head of school with much pride and joy at Alvarez Elementary School from 2014 to 2020. When he first joined the Alvarez family in 2014, I was the campus instructional coach. The following year, I was given the opportunity to join his administrative team as assistant principal. Quickly, our roles were established. He was the heart and I was the hammer. He walked into meetings with tacos and snacks while I walked in with data and plans. In his eyes, he was working the climate and culture to deliver critical conversations and uphill tasks, and it worked. Through the years, we had many conversations. To this day, however, I recall our first. He mentioned family first, and immediately he had my full and complete attention. I'm not going to lie. In my head, I was thinking, okay, how many times have I heard and said this myself and then deviated? Only I must say he truly delivered family first. He taught me and many others to live by those words and guard them close to our heart. I can sincerely say he did not only lead this belief by example, but held us all to the expectation. Most importantly, as the years went by, I realized that family first extended to include everyone. His personal family, MISD and Alvarez family, as well as his students, friends, and colleagues. This was all part of him being who he genuinely was, a true servant leader. Serving others first was always his intent and profound happiness. Mr. Montes did unto others as he would have them do unto him. He lived by the golden rule. And I truly believe that is why he impacted so many lives and left his mark in our hearts. To say we miss him is an understatement because he was such an immense part of our lives and his easy spirit enlightened us all. His loss weighs heavenly on us all, but his legacy of kindness, love, and gratitude lives on.
Mr. Montes, our mentor, was behind many success stories. Under his leadership, five paraprofessionals went back to school and later joined the Alvarez team as teachers. Mariana Casas, Alejandra de la Cruz, Arturo Guerrero, Juan Enojosa, and Rodrigo Rios. Additionally, Esther Lara, Melissa Longoria, Christine Lopez, Rosa Solis, and Joanna Vargas earned their master's degree with his guidance, mentorship, and encouragement. I mention this because he believed in others so much. He inspired and challenged them to continue to pave the way for others, especially their own children as well as their students. On behalf of our staff, we send you off with a huge thank you and a mighty tiger roar. We love you, Mr. Montes. I got it. Tenlo por seguro. Fueron tantos bellos y malos momentos que vivimos juntos. Los detalles, las pequeñas cosas, lo que parecía no importante, son las que más invaden mi mente. Al recordarte mm. Ojalá pudiera devolver el tiempo Para verte de nuevo Para darte un abrazo Y nunca soltarte Más comprendo que llegó tu tiempo Que Dios te ha llamado Para estar a su lado Así él lo quiso Pero yo nunca pensé Que doliera tanto Ya no llores por mí Yo estoy en un lugar Lleno de luz Donde existe paz Donde no hay nada, donde puedo descansar No llores por mí, es tan bello aquí Ya imaginé, quiero que sea feliz Que te vaya bien, y cuando te tome para ti Espero verte aquí